This is October 19th, 2013. Here I am with, can you tell me your full name? Yeah, my name is Fred Bivey and I'm the executive pastor here at Bridges Community Church. And this is on Driscoll in Fremont, California? Right. right. Okay, and you uh, are the head pastor? I'm the pastor. executive pastor. Okay. So we have a senior pastor, executive pastor, and pastoral okay. staff. So um, you are like the senior pastor? One of the senior people. One of the senior leaders. How long have you been here in this place? So our church has been here since 1965. 65. Yeah. So that is 65, 75, 85, 95, 2005, in, in the city 40. Of, in the city of Fremont, right. Okay. We actually built in this on this property here in the 70s. And how big is this? Uh, over five acres. Over five acres. Uh-huh. Okay. And you built this in 1970. Uh, part of it was built in the 70s and and, and on because we've added originally over here in this building and we added over here and so you know it's just different different sections so and then we added our larger worship center and then in the 1990s we added this building here okay now this is five acres and you have three buildings mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. and the church owns this free and clear mm -hmm fully paid off. Okay, now, does this bother you, these high-tension cables and all of that? No. Um, we've actually had testing done on it to demonstrate the, the fact that it doesn't cause any problems. So. Who did the testing? Um, the um, PG&E, I guess it would be, came out and did uh, electro something. So if it. I send my kids, my grandkids over here, yeah. Okay, they have no, no... No, no, yeah. We've had them actually literally come out and, and check all the wiring to make sure it doesn't affect people underneath it. Okay, so there is... Yeah, so no I, the, I, my kids would be safe, no grandkids, yeah. no danger at all. No danger at no, all. No, none of... No cancer, no nope. radiation, no nothing. No nothing. Okay, that is... And if I have... Uh, if I... I'm sitting right here underneath, so I am... You're fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Now, Pastor, the, how many, uh, you, you just said you have many, many languages. Uh-huh. Which languages? So we do Korean. Uh, we have Filipino language. Uh, we have a, a Cantonese Bible study right now, a Mandarin fellowship. Uh, we have an Indian fellowship, Filipino fellowship. Uh, we have a deaf ministry, and we have uh, the English fellowship. Okay, and uh, all these are at different times of the week? Well, they, you know, some of them uh, meet on Sunday mornings. A lot of them meet on Sunday mornings now. Um, then we have different types of meetings throughout the weeks. Okay. You know, so, Bible now, studies. How do you maintain such a high expensive place? Well, first of all, all of our ministry is through contributions. Okay. So people contribute to the ministry. Okay. Um, we have staff and we have volunteers. So okay. we both recognize the fact that there's a paid staff that we have uh, that work here, and then we have um, our congregation serves the body of Christ here as well. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do you charge the kids fees and all of that? Um, you know, for for. There are certain events that they might participate in or camps that they would be charged for. We also provide scholarships for children who can't. Scholarships come from money that people donate. Um, and then, you know, the church services on Sunday morning, um, you know, there's not a, you're not being charged for that. But, you know, the Bible teaches us that everything that we have belongs to God and that we're stewards of that. And part of that stewardship is giving back to the ministry that he's called us to fulfill on the earth. Okay, so if I have, say, 50 kids in mm -hmm. my family mm -hmm. and I want to have schooling for them in Hindi or Urdu or Arabic or something, how would I be able to do that? Wow. Well, that's not something that we do in it. I mean, this... This school that you have, this yeah. Little Lamb Preschool and Daycare. Right. So Little Lamb is in English. Okay. 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 And uh, so though, uh, though we have children from different uh, 
national backgrounds on it. We teach in English. Okay, okay. English. Okay, but uh, can I have like classes, one class a week or two classes a week in my original language? Yeah, we couldn't, we really couldn't do that because of the size of our facility here. There's just not the room. How many kids do you have? I have no idea how many they have there. I wouldn't be able to give you an answer. I mean, number. ballpark, 500, mm -hmm. 600. No, are you talking about our church or are you talking about our preschool? The school and preschool and all of that. Preschool, uh, probably somewhere under 100. Preschool 100. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, other classes also? We have Sunday school and we have about um, 300 children that would come to Sunday school. What time on Sunday? 9 and 10.45. That's it? Mm -hmm. From 9 a.m. to 10.45. Mm -hmm. After that... Uh, 9 and 10.45, that's two service times. Okay, but when do they finish? Probably 12. Okay, because we are having a Sunday school mm -hmm. in Kennedy High School. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, that's uh, like a school. This is much better because it is a facility of God. Yeah, but what we don't do is we don't rent out our facility to yeah. other groups to use. Okay. Um, you know, the only way that we... Uh, launch our different languages is that they're under the umbrella of what we call Bridges Community Church. Okay. And it's a focus on on having the same uh, doctrinal beliefs. Okay. It's focused on the same mission, vision, and Okay. Purpose. Is this, because I am not a, a Christian or a Catholic, mm -hmm. I'm a Muslim, mm -hmm. but uh, I have gone to many, many churches and mm -hmm. many different religious facilities mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, are you uh, like the Mormons or the Presbyterian or I mean can yeah. you yeah so um, so uh, a Presbyterian uh, church would be a what we would call a, a denomination or association of churches that have a very specific statement of faith that okay. they follow okay. and they're associated because of that. Okay. We are a, a group of churches known as the Evangelical Free Churches of America. Evangelical. Evangelical. Evangelical okay. Free and that Churches word of means America. good news because okay. Jesus Christ came into the world to die for men's sins to restore our relationship with God. So our good news is, is that Christ has paid the penalty for our sins. Okay. We okay. as Muslims in the Quran, mm -hmm. there is a complete chapter on Jesus Christ. And there is uh, the only female woman who has been named in the Quran is Holy Mary. Mm -hmm. Holy Mary and Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is a prophet for us. Okay, yeah, very, see, very reverent, very, you know, very... So the difference between our faith, one of the differences, is that Jesus Christ to us is not a prophet. He's God. Right. So, okay. fine. I mean, I'm not going to go, go into that. No, no, that. no. I just was trying to explain yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, what you say, Trinity. Yeah, the yeah. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, yes. yeah. So that is the only difference that we have, that we don't call him God, we call him prophet. Well, that would be a big difference. Okay, it? yeah, yeah. Okay, no, yeah, but see, the thing is that, uh, but here, I mean, I am impressed. Yeah. I have gone, I live very close here, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I have seen this place grow over the years. Yeah. yeah. And I'm very, very happy, and yeah. that is the reason. My only concern was these high-tension cables yeah. that yeah. were there, okay? Yeah. Well, that was a, you know, we actually um, uh, had, a, had that concern brought up at one time, and that's why we had it all checked out. And they actually came out here with meters, and they, they measured everything in terms of the pulse, the electrical. And, uh, you know, you have a greater danger having your child in your house with a microwave than you would have being a... Oh, nurse. yeah? Oh, yes. That is news for me. Yeah. So, how do you have a card, a, a business card? With me? How do no. you spell your name? I want to write a note Fred, to you. Just F R E D. Fred. Uh huh. And uh, okay, my name is Salim Astan. Uh huh. And I am honored, and I am grateful to you for giving me this time. Sure. God bless you. Happy. Take care of you. Thank you. Thank very you much. for coming back, Thank Salim. You, Thank you, you bet. so much. You bet. This is really great news because I had this. 
fear about these cables that if I send my kids over